All right, but we're going to begin with this. Only on CBS This Morning, we have an exclusive look at the testing of what could become the world's first air taxi without a pilot. The Airbus prototype is meant to operate like a flying, self-driving car, and it's being tested at a rural airport in Oregon. Chris Van Cleve got a sneak peek at what could be the future of ride sharing. This airport is a special zone for testing unmanned aircraft, and the one behind me is pretty special. It has the potential to change the way people move. Airbus calls it Vahana. It is a prototype of an autonomous air taxi. Think of it as a bit of a flying car. And test all Vahana 1 initiating takeoff on my mark. Three, two, one. In Sanskrit, Vahana means that which carries, that which pulls. In Oregon, Vahana's eight electric motors hope to carry the future. There's no human at the controls of this prototype single-seat autonomous air taxi as it takes off vertically like a helicopter. Its wings then rotate, allowing it to fly like a plane. The battery-powered aircraft hits speeds over 100 miles an hour and can fly up to 35 miles. Hervé Hilaire is the project manager for Vahana. Do you think you're going to get people who want to get in a flying contraption that doesn't have a pilot? Over time, people will get used to it. Buzzing over rural Oregon, this could be the answer to urban gridlock, simply flying over the traffic jam. But convincing the public might be a challenge. Even among those 18 to 24, only about one in five say they'd fly in something without a pilot. How do you convince people to change their mind? I mean, at some point, you need some first adopters to go, all right, I'm getting in it. You want to demonstrate perfect safety and, you know, real added value for the customer. And, you know, this is really about saving time in a convenient and safe way. Plane maker Airbus's Silicon Valley incubator, A-cubed, took Vahana from a sketch to flight testing in less than two years using materials already commercially available. We've been working on showing that we can uh, execute a safe test flight from takeoff through transition to over 100 miles an hour and return safely to the ground. Right now, the test flights aren't very long. They only last a few minutes at a time. One of the challenges will be developing better, lighter batteries that let these things fly farther and longer. Morgan Stanley predicts flying cars will be a $1.5 to $3 trillion business in 20 years. The race is on now to develop a fleet of ride-sharing autonomous air taxis. Think flying Ubers. Earlier this year, Boeing's prototype took its first flight. At this month's Uber Elevate conference, nearly a dozen flying car concepts were on display, including helicopter maker Bell's full-size but non-flying Nexus demonstrator. It seats four passengers and aims to enter customer service by the mid-2020s, flying at 150 miles an hour for up to 150 miles. For a time, it will have a human operator on board before going fully autonomous. A lot of us grew up watching the Jetsons and thought that was far-fetched. Meet George Jetson. The reality is here today. When you look at the explosion and expansion of population growth within cities, there are really no ground-based solutions that will be able to resolve those challenges. Well, we're not ready today. Acting uh, FAA Administrator Dan Elwell says it's too early to talk about timelines. We're all about gathering data uh, to assure us of the, of the safety uh, for these vehicles. And unmanned is a much, much higher bar than a piloted vehicle for sure, and we, we have a ways to go. Regulations and a system to manage increasingly crowded airspace still needs to be developed. For Airbus, Bahana is a bit like a first draft. It'll be up to future models to prove they can safely fly passengers. It will be years before people are flying in an autonomous air taxi, but already a company in London is buying up rooftop space for landing pads, so they'll be ready when the technology is set to take off. For CBS This Morning, Chris Van Cleve, Pendleton, Oregon. Gail, what do you think, Gail? Yeah, I'm dying to know. Thinking, where does one buy a pair of Depends? I, mean, <laughs> I, I like the idea of it. I do. I like the yeah. idea of it. I can see it working. I'm just very afraid. But I could see how this could work and that people would get on board. Yeah, but you, you wouldn't take the driverless car to get to yeah, the I autonomous know, air I taxi. Know, I know. <laughs> like but I, but I, need to, I need to get on board, Anthony. I do. I know yeah. I need to do, I know I need to I do it. Let's start with a piloted aircraft yes. air taxi. Uh, well, I think we will. Yes. I think we will. Those, yes. jet, uh, but those old Jetson clips are getting a lot of play these days. That's, that's for sure. cool what they're doing. Yeah. Yeah.